what about the ranking system of guild what, what is it what are the ranks actually going to look like and uh what are, what are the names going to be how, how do i achieve this rank you know these are the questions that we're asking in today's video and i'm gonna answer them hopefully you guys enjoy let's get into it So right off the bat, everybody knows when you have a guild, there are different rankings of players inside of that guild. Higher ranks control the lower ranks. Lower ranks don't have that much access to the guild, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's all controlled by the guild leader himself or his subordinates down below him. In this example, I'm just going to use five willingly ranks. We're not going to make it too complicated. Um, I'm pretty sure five ranks everyone will be able to, to you know, understand, if you, if you will. Rank one, which is going to be the lower rank, which is going to be called Apprentice Wizard. Uh, rank two, which is going to be uh, the one above Apprentice this wizard of course is going to be called lesser wizard rank three is going to be called adept wizard rank four is going to be called greater wizard and rank five is going to be called grand wizard now in my opinion i feel as though the grand wizard is going to be able to control everything inside of your guild um these are just some examples of what they can control they can remove members from the guild they can edit the guild emblem they can edit the guild name and they can edit the join requirements um rank four which is greater wizard right below grand wizard i believe they're their whatever they can do effort what's the i forgot the name that I'm but whatever they're allowed to do essentially would be to edit their member rankings edit item access privileges edit guild housing items some of these things are going to be explained in later videos such as item access privileges what is that i'm gonna explain that in the bank video so make sure you guys watch that um rank three which is the adapt wizard they're going to be able to access the guild harvest guild harvest is basically inside of your guild bank not your guild bank but inside of your guild base if you uh have plants only rank three wizards be able to harvest those plants or help those plants out uh with whatever they need or anything like that so someone that just freshly joins your your guild won't be able to harvest your plants you know so only rank three and above wizards will be able to do that essentially that's what that means uh rank two will be ax be able to access the guild bank and then rank one will be able to access the guild house these were just the uh what i came up with just brainstorming uh five simple ranks of what they can all do inside of a guild of course all of this will be edible or editable edible be able to be edited by the grand wizard himself so um yeah and also i do believe there should be only an, a set number of people with a certain rank for example there can only be one grand wizard uh for a greater wizard rank four there should only be three these are just numbers that i rambled at the top of my head but um uh, a dab wizard there should only be eight there should only be 30 lesser lesser wizards and only 50 apprentice wizards now comes into the question what's the max amount of people that you can have in a guild um I wasn't really sure about this question. I feel like uh, the battle style of Wizard 101, since it is 4v4, is the max amount of wizards, or yeah, 4 is the max amount of wizards that can be in a battle. Um, I'm going to explain this in a later date, but I'll explain it to you guys now. I believe that number should jump up to 12. I think there should be a, a max amount of 12 wizards in a battle at one time, which also means if you have 100 wizards inside of a guild, not all of them is going to be able to see the action uh, versus games like World of Warcraft, where you have like 50 people in a battle at one time, you know? So I believe the max amount of people in a guild should probably be 50 or less now i did just explain that there should be only 50 apprentice wizards and 30 lesser wizards uh essentially you won't be able to have both of those at the same time uh 50 apprentice wizards will be the max and that will also be the max amount of people that you will be able to have to into a guild of course there's going to be at least one grand wizard so it should be 49 but um you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah that's all for today's video uh that's basically me explaining what i think the ranking system in wizard 101 should be like uh if you guys have any other ideas let them down in the comments down below i'll read them uh reply to them everything like that i hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day peace